I picked up an old uh, old drum. I guess that's also rolling metal. And I'm planning to use this to uh, burn up leaves because the old drum that I had for that kind of rusted out and I threw it away into the recycle drum. Looking at this label here, this might have contained uh, pre-mixed gasoline for uh, two-stroke machines. So I better uh, sniff uh, the inside before I uh, cut this in half. Because it might get dangerous. Sniff the inside. There's a little drop left at the bottom. And it definitely smells like uh, gasoline. So I better put in some water before I cut this thing in half with the angle grinder. Instead of uh, mixing in some water, I'm going to try and drill a hole in the side here because there's no way I can get the remaining gasoline out through this hole. This uh, ridge here will be in the way. I guess I should have drilled the hole a little bit closer to the side here, but uh, no problem because I'm planning to drill a whole lot more holes around the circumference of the barrel because you need a whole lot of air to burn up uh, damp leaves. Slipping in the uh, drill chuck. That's a lot closer. Let's drill a few more holes and then I will uh, see if I can get a uh, gasoline out. first hole is almost at the bottom of the barrel so at some point there might be some uh, gasoline oh it already started to leak out I guess that's an uh, environmental disaster oh fuck the environment we're not going to save this world anyway so why bother at least uh, that's my uh, thinking these days Something hot fell into the uh, gasoline because there was some smoke there. But I think it needs a little bit more spark to ignite the uh, gasoline. It's not hot enough.
this drill chuck sucks. Got it. Um, I think I will drill a second row of holes around the circumference to let in some extra air. A little clean up because I don't want to, to risk any flat tires. This tool bed keeps slipping inside the drill chuck. So I'm going to clean up the shank on the lathe and hopefully that will help a little bit. Unfortunately, this is not fitting inside the throat of the drill chuck. So this will never run completely concentric. So I'm not going to turn it down. Just file it a little bit and hopefully I can improve the grip on the drill chuck. So I moved to my other uh, carger lathe and this chuck fits a little bit better. The uh, shank here has some damage from when it slipped inside the drill chuck. So I will try and file this off. I just need to be careful not to get caught by these uh, jaws. Well, it's definitely not running 100% uh, concentric, but I will try and improve this a little bit. Well, that's probably as good as I'm ever going to get it. I don't think I can improve this a whole lot. I should probably uh, get a new drill chuck. Maybe an old school one that you need to tighten up with a uh, key. Um, I should try some emery cloth. I could also try a dull pin with some uh, emery cloth on the drill chuck. Maybe that will uh, improve the grip. I'm probably wasting my time here. But let's try and uh, drill a few more holes into that barrel. get enough grip on this thing. I should probably put it into the vise. All right, that's enough torture. Let's drill a few more holes. I think I will draw a third row of holes, although this isn't completely flat here, that might be awkward to drill.
So, that should be enough. Now I'm going to drill the other side, but first we will clean up. Well, I tightened things up again in the vise and let it cool down a bit. Hopefully it uh, won't get loose again. Well, that's done. Now I can cut this thing in half. Between here and there is a little over 27 millimeters. So, around 13 and a half should be okay. It looks almost brand new on the inside, but that will change uh, when I start burning stuff. But first I'm going to uh, remove this burr, or I will uh, cut up my hands at some point. That feels safe. And now the other one. Yeah, that'll pass a safety test. My safety test. That's done. I will uh, put this one in storage and the other one I will use for burning the leaves when it is uh, a dry winter day. One more hole in the middle here so the water can drain away because this will uh, be spending most of its time outside. And that's it, I'm done. And it's getting dark already. The days are so short this time of year. <laughs> so the winter is almost over and I still haven't uh, burned any leaves. But we're having some nice weather, so let's start a fire. It looks kind of used with all of that rust. But, I assure you, this will be the first time. Some kindling material. 
hear some sound. Some cardboard and now the remains from a previous fire, including some nails. This stuff isn't as dry as I uh, would have liked. take these big pieces out. First I need a good fire going. Some lighter fluid. Trying to light it from the side. Hopefully, I can ignite the fire. Some more pruning. And of course I'm wearing fireproof boots. Let's also add a few pieces of firewood. Hitting some pieces of oak. These pieces are a bit wet. So now we wait and then uh, when it's hot I can start cooking leaves. Sometimes you got to do some gardening. Most of the leaves got blown away, but there are some left. They're not completely dry yet. But hopefully I can get a good fire going. And then I will be uh, starting to smoke out the neighbors. with some leaves. some more pruning. I think she needs a new paint job. It's 
getting hot here. So we're going great, and now I'm going to try the uh, leaf cooker. Here we go. Alright, that's about it for me. I will probably continue till the sun goes down. <laughs>